Hey guys, thanks for joining a little bit early here as we wait for the last few people to trickle on in. Jump in the chat, let us know where you are joining in from. We always love to see where the business community is at. Let us know what kind of hey industry guys. you're in, all that fun stuff. My colleague Christina will be monitoring that chat over there. So if you do have any questions at all throughout this, um, feel free to chat amongst each other or with her. Um, we are gonna be getting started in about three minutes now. All right, it's down to two minutes. You never really realize how long three minutes is until you're just sitting here. <laughs> um, like I said, feel free to chat with us. Let us know what kind of questions, what kind of goals you're working on when it comes to Instagram marketing, especially as we're going into 2019 with this really exciting opportunity to make sure we're connecting with our followers authentically. We'll touch on a lot of best practice strategies in this, as well as how to use Edgar to help social batch and keep your Instagram strategy alive in 2019. Um, so Christina will be manning the chat. My name is Megan and I am an onboarding coach here at Me Edgar. So I do a lot of our webinars. I also help people set up their accounts within Me Edgar. So if you do have any questions as you're getting this started, even if you're already a current user, definitely feel free to reach out to us at support at meedgar.com. And we're more than happy to get you set up with a call to make sure everything's looking good in your account too. Um, like I said, we'll get started in two minutes here now. All righty, so it is 2 p.m. here in Denver, Colorado, where I am tuning in from today. Again, my name's Megan. I am an onboarding specialist, and I do a lot of webinars for our community here at Me Edgar, which means it is 4 p.m. where our chat specialist, Christina, who is actually the head of our customer experience team, is going to be monitoring that chat. And thanks for tuning in if you're on the West Coast today, too. Um, like I said, let us know where you're coming in from, and we are going to go ahead and jump right in. Before we get into how to actually use Edgar, if you're not a current subscriber yet, this time of year, what better way to treat yourself to the gift of time? You guys really need to make sure that you are taking some rest this holiday season. Edgar can help make sure your feeds are staying fresh and really keep you up to date and keep your followers expecting that awesome, consistent content from you. Um, so if you're not an Edgar user yet, definitely take advantage of our free trial we're offering um, to celebrate our Instagram launch. Super simple URL you can go to. It's also in the comments, um, but it's www.meetegger.com slash Instagram. That's actually going to get you a two-week free trial to make sure it's the right tool for you, as well as get you the bonus offer of 50% off your first free three months of Edgar, which is incredible. So definitely snag that. Um, it does end on the 21st, though, so we'll get it in the next week. Um, let me know if you do have any questions before Friday. If you wanted a demo first, we can try to squeeze you in for sure. Um, but definitely get that free trial so you guys can sit back and relax and recharge this holiday season. One other thing, we are doing the Edgar Challenge still with our webinars. And there's no better time than right after you learn something to put it to use. So today, pay attention to what's really going to help your brand succeed in 2019 and take some time after this webinar to add that content to your library. It can be as simple as just hooking up your Instagram account to Edgar. Once you do so, go ahead and tag us at me Edgar on Twitter or at me Edgar on Instagram. Use the hashtag Edgar challenge. Let us know what you did and we will enter you in the contest to win some awesome Edgar swag this holiday season. So again, that is going to be tweet us comment on the video below here, mention us on Facebook. We are doing a lot of social listening, so we'll be looking out for that hashtag. So as we jump in here today, first things first, why are we doing this webinar? Why are we adding in Instagram to me, Edgar? 
Well, because the numbers tell us to. It is such a popular network these days, and it is so in demand with every age demographic, but mostly those who have such a big buying potential. Instagram is a great addition to any social media marketing strategy these days with over a billion users, an engagement rate that's 10 times higher than Facebook. And features like Instagram TV and stories is such a great way to actually build community and actually build in that consistency that people expect from brands these days on social media. So having this in Edgar now and taking the time to build this in as our feature set makes it so much easier for you to plan it and schedule it and get your Instagram content to have a meaning to fit in with your oval overall marketing strategy. And that's gonna make it so much easier for you. So this idea of why schedulers work on every network applied to Instagram is even more powerful because you can sit down and actually social batch out all of your Instagram content. So you're not just posting on the fly when it comes up, but so your content works together in the beautiful feedback system that a marketing machine is. Because let's face it, these days, there's so much attention grabbing content out there online that the quality of your content has to be higher than ever. And it's not going to cut it anymore just to kind of post every once in a while. You have to be consistent and that content has to be quality every time. So it's so much easier to sit down, block out a couple of hours to sit down and have your creativity going and make sure all of your posts are working to give your followers value. And that's what's really going to make your brand stand out over others in your industry come 2019. So as a short overview, here's how Instagram is going to work with Edgar. You're going to add in, you're going to go ahead and download the Instagram mobile app. This is for iOS only currently. Um, you can search in the app store for it. It's our cute little Edgar logo, that little octopus, super easy to find. Or you can go to ed.gr slash mobile apps and you can find it there. Um, you're then going to connect your business or your personal, either kind of account will work, to your accounts tab within Edgar. You're going to do this on the desktop, not in the mobile app. You're going to add your Instagram content to your library. Again, that's going to be done on the desktop, not on your mobile app. So it makes it so much easier to plan, type it all out so you're not sitting there just typing on your phone all the time as well. And then you're going to set your Instagram schedule the same way you schedule for Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn within Edgar. Once you do all this, the app that you downloaded is going to send you a push notification to your device when it comes time to publish. Now, I wanted to actually give you a quick peek inside the app on how you do this so you can be confident in going back into your own accounts. So really quickly here, I'm going to switch screens. Pardon the kind of awkward introduction here. Um, but here is an Instagram um, connection and how you're going to actually do it. So in your Meet Edgar account on your desktop, you're going to click on your accounts tab here. You'll notice that the Instagram app is available here. You're gonna click this Instagram and then you're gonna choose. If you have a business profile, you do have to connect through Facebook. Just make sure that you also have that personal profile hooked up there. If you have a personal profile, super simple, you'll just click on this add personal profile section. So you can see here when I click to connect through Facebook, it's automatically gonna bring in me to the page or I'm able to select my Meet Edgar account here for Instagram and that'll go through Facebook as Facebook's terms and conditions require. If you're doing the personal account, you're just gonna be able to pop on in, provide those login details and you're ready to go. If you do have a content in your Edgar library already that you'd like to also use for Instagram, I'm gonna also suggest you take advantage of our bulk edit feature here. So this is gonna allow you to add in your Instagram connection in bulk. So what I'm gonna suggest you do is locate the category that you want Instagram to post from. Remember, it does have to have a photo or a video attached to it. Um, so a lot of people are actually creating custom categories like we have here in our account. So if I wanna do my Instagram blog post category here, I can go ahead and filter in the library, then click on this bulk edit button. This will allow me to come in here, go ahead and check off all the updates in that category and use these upper level social icons to add and remove that Instagram account connection. You can of course attach this to all of your accounts if you'd like, but it's a great way to get your existing content to go out on Instagram. Same with the schedule. You can make Instagram specific time slots based on your categories, or you can come into a content that already exists. Just click into that area on your schedule and go ahead and check off Instagram as an account that you would like to also have posting at this time. So super simple, same concepts, adding content within Edgar um, manually with this add new content button. If you're doing new content for Instagram, you'll notice that you're just checking off the account you'd like this to go out to. 
adding in that text here, making sure that you're adding in a photo or a video. If you are adding in URLs, remember they're not clickable on Instagram, it'll show there, um, but just keep that in mind that this link in bio practice, which we'll touch on when we get to our best practices bit in a few minutes here, um, is gonna be your best bet if you are promoting like blog posts and stuff. Cool, so real quick, awkward switch back to the slides here. Um, so that's essentially how you're going to go ahead and get your initial posts into Edgar for Instagram. Now, we were talking a lot about business versus personal when you are going ahead and um, connecting those. So if you are new to Instagram, I want to touch real quick on the differences here. In short, an uh, Instagram business account makes it possible for you to promote your business in a way that's supported by the platform by providing you analytics and the opportunity to do stuff like run ads to really help you grow. It functions much like a personal account does. You don't have to learn new rules or anything like that. Um, where you post a picture, video, story, stuff like that is the exact same where you're connecting with your customers, but using a business account, Instagrams that are specifically designed to help you reach more customers, super kind of them. Um, things like a contact button where you can put your email, phone number, physical address and location, and even add links to your Instagram stories to kind of cross promote from your feed up to those guys. Um, the other benefit of a business account is once you do reach over 10K followers, you can actually have that cool swipe up feature you might have noticed other brands using, which will allow you to swipe up and offer the ability to purchase or um, offer the ability to visit a link right from your Instagram. Um, this really does allow people to go from Instagram to any thing that you want, but if you don't have 10,000 followers yet, you can still do that link in bio, which we'll touch on, like I said, in a few minutes here. Um, you know, unlike a personal account, the business account can't be set to private though. So if you are worried about privacy, you will have to go ahead and stick with a personal account on Instagram. Um, but you know, the benefits of having a public Instagram account really is that you are able to grow your following so much better. And that discoverability aspect that hashtags on Instagram provide and stuff like that truly is achieved with a public account. If you're not sure how to set you yourself to public or a business account, go ahead and reach out to support at meetedgar.com and we're happy to guide you through that. Um, you know, the benefit of a personal account if you're trying to decide here is that it does allow you to actually link multiple Facebook pages and profiles to it. Business accounts are only allowing one of those. So if you have multiple pages and groups and stuff you wanna link within there, a personal account might be the way to go. And um, you know, Instagram's really trying to keep personal posts and business posts separate. So if you wanna share posts from Instagram to Facebook on a business account, it has to be to a business page, like not like a group or a profile. So just paying attention to those little things, depending upon what's important to your business, can help you decide which account is right for you. Whew, all right, so back to a few more Instagram specific things for Edgar before we jump into our best practices, strategizing. Um, is these things are important to know is that it must contain an image or a video in order for Edgar to save it to your Instagram account in Edgar. Um, images, sizes, this is all in our help documentation too for you to refer to later, but it has to be less than three MBs and you can add up to 10 images for Instagram posts, which is really awesome because it allows you to use that fun um, carousel feature or it allows you to go ahead and schedule all of these to go into a story, stuff like that. So 10 images, pay attention to the sizing there. Um, videos, definitely be scheduling those as well. We all know how much reach and how much the algorithms are loving video content these days. Um, so videos for Instagram do have to be less than 30 MBs and 60 seconds or less in length. Um, so if you are doing multiple images, you do have to select the multiple image option on Instagram once that push notification comes through. We'll touch on this in a little bit as well. Um, but if you are previewing the post, so you know in Edgar on your ad content screen, right next to that little editor button, there's that preview button where you can see what the post is gonna look like once it's sent to the social network. That preview button is just gonna give you um, an example of the order of the posts. But once your push notification comes through and you select multiple images on Instagram, you can choose the order that you'd like these posts to show. Um, so that preview button is just kind of a random um, preview of it. You can always select it once you get into Instagram there. For Instagram, anything that does contain more than one image like we were talking about, you're going to have to select that multiple image little blue square button on Instagram. Once you've done that, all of the photos will be in your photo app. Every single one of them, if you've added 10 of them, will be those first 10 in your photo app. So you can clearly just go through and select the order that you actually want. 
So the actual push notification part that we have been talking about here is super important that you log into your settings on your phone and you actually go ahead and you um, enable push notifications so that when these come through, it'll pop up on your phone and you can go ahead and post to Instagram. Um, don't worry if you don't post right away, if it's not within that first minute, the notification pops up, this will still be in your Edgar app on your phone. So you don't have to worry about getting it to a right that second. It'll live there until you post it. Um, so even if it's like an hour later when you couldn't get to your phone at that time, that post will still be there for you to go ahead and do it. Essentially, all you're going to do is when that update comes up, you're going to swipe right on the notification on your phone. And that's going to go ahead and automatically open the Meet Edgar app. And this is where you're going to be prompted to publish your post. You can see that little open Instagram button in the photo in the um, lower right hand corner there. Edgar, by pushing that, Edgar is automatically going to copy the text to your phone's clipboard. So you don't have to worry about copying it at all. He does that for you. He's automatically going to save your image or images and video to your photo library on your phone. So you don't have to worry about copying those either. He'll then open your Instagram app on your mobile device for you to go ahead and paste and um, publish those photos. Super simple, super nice lifesaver, especially this time of year. Um, if you do have multiple Instagram accounts, you will go ahead and want to make sure you're logged into the right one, of course. Um, so Edgar will always pop this little notification up here, allowing you to say, you know, yep, this is the right account or making sure you switch into the right account. So just be a little bit careful if you are using Edgar for multiple Instagram accounts that you are in the right one. <clears throat> So Edgar's going to, again, copy that caption from your um, Edgar library. So this is really cool because you can actually sit down and type out a long post. Again, when I was saying you don't want to just sit there typing on your phone all the time. Um, this is really cool that you're able to sit down at your computer, type out a post. You know, longer posts do really well on Instagram these days. They really engage people in the community, getting that awesome behind the scenes content, sharing your overall story. Um, so make sure you're sitting down, typing that out, all of that fun stuff. Instagram will um, allow you to go ahead and apply any filters after you put those up. So you can upload the photos without filters in Edgar and then always add the filters afterwards when you're ready. Um, that cool, um, the cool part about also doing this is you don't have to post it to your feed. If you have multiple images there, you can choose once you, um, you tap to open Instagram from your Meet Edgar app, you can choose to post those 10 photos as a story. So think about the possibilities of being able to sit down and create a long cohesive story that's gonna go right to your phone so you don't have to then spend the time to think about all of that and type it in when you're creating a story. Um, story length these days, they are recommending, you know, seven stories seems to be the average that you can get someone to watch it all the way through within that 24 hour time period. And you always wanna think about posting it at the same time so that people, when they come to it, they get the whole story and people aren't jumping in like an hour after the first piece of your story has disappeared. Um, so scheduling stories can really help get people to go all the way through it and can help you tell that story all the way through so people aren't missing the first or last um, little bit of your story. So going along and jumping on into the fun stuff, which is the strategy part. So once you do get all of this set up, the cool thing about um, Instagram is how visual it is. And as we start most of these webinars, I want you to really think about your brand voice being more important on Instagram than ever these days. When it comes to it, you really wanna make sure you're bringing people to the point of sale that they're excited to do this. So brand voice on Instagram is gonna be really consistent colors. It's gonna be really clean photos. It's gonna be really um, great for people to not only see it within the feed that they're scrolling through, but if they choose to come to your actual site, that those first nine photos that they see on their screen really fit together and really tell a story about who you are. Um, a great way to do this also is to be recognizable with your status updates that are gonna pique curiosity. You know, use language that's gonna really make people say, huh, I do wanna know that. You know, it's pretty easy to do on sites like Twitter and Facebook because you can do things like write status updates that say, you know, hey, check out this link. Number three is something that I really want to implement this year. It's my favorite tip yet or something like that. And that's going to really compel people to think, oh, yeah, I want to know what number three is um, and go ahead and click on it. Instagram, this does provide it a little bit harder since you don't have that click through right in the post itself. So I want you to make sure that you're thinking of ways to make your photos be really curious. So people want to read the entire caption. You know, can you go ahead and make a different um, angle on your photo or provide different colors that other accounts aren't using? Seek out those with the most followers and you'll oftentimes find that they're doing really um, cool photography stuff. 
Um, so, you know, using things like the rule of thirds, where you don't want everything in your photo to be centered, but you want it to be off to the side a little bit, and that's going to be more visually appealing to the eye. So take some time to research a couple of tricks that have to do with photography, a couple of risk-taking ideas that you might have in order to pique people's curiosity with your images so much on Instagram. All right, so we talk about this a lot too, and it is more important than ever on Instagram is that all important no like and trust factor. Now, why do you want to be a brand that people want to hang out with? Because no one wants to buy from a company or a logo or a faceless site. They want to buy from real people who they like and connect with. So think about Instagram as a way to really show that part of your business. This is our founder, Laura. She's on a lot of podcasts, and she has an amazing story about how Edgar was created. And Instagram's an awesome way to share that because she's able to show people, you know, hey, this is what I do to get the word about Edgar out. I go on podcasts and I connect with really cool entrepreneurs who have similar bases, uh, excuse me, similar um, audiences to mine because I know that it'll provide their community value getting a tool like Edgar. Instagram. Um, you know, Laura created Edgar just out of her own need. She had an educational business and was really struggling to keep up with all the time posting the social media took. So she created this app for herself. And telling this story has really helped more and more people say, oh, yeah, I relate to that. Me too. I would use this product as well. So think about these other tangential things when you were building your product or you were building your service and share those out on Instagram. Share some stories and share some photos from your early days. Maybe you started with just you and your college buddy in your dorm room. Put up some throwback Thursday photos to get people to really connect to who you were when you started this business and why it's important to you. And you'll find some really great success on why people like to look at those photos. And it'll really create those touch points that are going to be so much more emotional than if it was just a logo or just products, how to's all the time. So if you do have a bunch of followers on your personal account, like I'm sure many of you do because you're networking out there online all the time as solopreneurs, um, I also wanted to touch on the fact that you can have an at mention in your posts that you're adding to Instagram. So think about the ways you can cross promote from your personal profile to your business one, or think about the ways you can cross promote and really connect with people on Instagram. Go ahead and search out people in your industry who are doing similar things who you really respect tag them in the posts, you know, doing things like this ahead of time, again, gives you the ability to research who is right to connect with, with your brand, who you want to associate with the same values your company has to provide your followers all of this awesome content. So when you're sharing a photo, um, make sure that you're putting an at mention in. Again, it copies to your clipboard. So once you log into Edgar, you can go ahead and tap that and the at mention will appear. Once you publish it, that person will get notified, creating that awesome goodwill and partnerships that work so well online these days. Um, you can also do this in stories. Remember, stories are some of the most engaged with content on Instagram these days. People love, love, love seeing that change up, seeing that whole entire story. So when you at mention someone in your story, their username will actually appear in your story. Um, and anyone can then see your story that, and they can tap on that and get to know your brand a little bit. So start cross promoting, start creating these partnerships going into 2019, because it is far better for people to really connect with companies. And really, people take recommendations from people they like, and they'll take recommendations from brands they trust in the same way. So if you have good relationships with other brands, and they're promoting your content to their email list to their followers, you'll see some awesome successes in 2019. So don't forget about researching some good companies or researching some good services that you can hopefully create some cross-promoting partnerships with. So the algorithm, this is a really interesting one because of course we all know Instagram doesn't really put their algorithm out online these days. Scheduling your Instagram content in advance does give you more time to engage with your followers and other Instagram users which is definitely part of their algorithm. You know that engagement rate, they are owned by Facebook and we all know how much Facebook wants that meaningful engagement these days. Um, but while no one really knows how the Instagram algorithm works, most experts believe that engaging with other users, responding to comments and having a consistent feed can really help improve your rank in the feed reach. Um, so, you know, you'll be reaching more audiences in the same amount of time if you're able to schedule this out and keep that consistency going. You know, have your users starting out with a hashtag Motivational Monday post. Go ahead and queue all of those up. Have Join the conversation of Throwback Thursday and show some past content of your company or service. Show some behind the scenes of the people who make your product work. 
The algorithm also has a lot to do with how much um, interest there is in your post. So, you know, Instagram's going to predict if you care about a post and it's going to really have that determined by your past behavior. So make sure, again, that you are going in and actually analyzing what people are liking so you can create more of that. You know, you don't want to reinvent the wheel every time. Um, you want to make sure you're consistently showing up with the content that is connecting with your audience. Um, recency and dwell time. Similar to Twitter, recency is huge in the Instagram algorithm. You'll see stuff that was posted first, much before stuff that was posted like a day ago. Um, dwell time is interesting to play around with, with the length of your post. Again, making sure you can sit down and type it out. You can look at some influencers, like one of my favorites is Jenna Kutcher. She writes paragraphs within her content, and she has such great engagement rates because people will sit there and read it because they know it's quality content. And this actually is um, kind of thought to play into the algorithm a lot these days. If someone's spending more time on your content, it's most likely that the algorithm is going to say, okay, people like this, let's show it to more people. So test out the length of your Instagram um, stories, or excuse me, captions. Make sure you're doing some longer ones, and you might see some great rewards within the algorithm. Relationship is huge too. So this is why you wanna go out and follow some accounts. Follow people who you think will be really great for your product or service. Show some interest in them because how close you are to that person who shared it is going to get your um, feed, your post ranked a little bit higher if you've interacted with them a lot. If Instagram sees you guys comment on each other's and you guys like each other's posts, you guys have been DMing each other. That goes into the algorithm as well. Um, these sort of relationships will also help posts show up higher. So again, Scheduling your content out with an Edgar so the time you spend on social media can be this engagement rate to really help your scheduled content shine through and reach more people. So Instagram is also really cool for hashtag. Is it is categorized by hashtag network, unlike any other. Um, you can actually add 30 hashtags per post in Instagram. And I suggest going out and finding some that are like the top within your industry, you know. So for like Edgar, we could say, you know, content creators, marketing tips. Those are going to be huge hashtags that a lot of people are searching. So we want to be a part of that. But the hard thing about these huge ones also is the fact that so many people are searching that it's hard to show up in that nine by nine discovery feed as one of the first posts unless someone searched it right away. So I also suggest doing a mix of maybe like um, 10 that are really popular. 10 that are less popular. So hopefully people who are searching that can see your post appear in that nine by nine grid they see in the explore feature when they're searching hashtags. And then if you want to go even further, you can create 10 that are really custom to your brand that only you guys use to create that community feature to get people tapping on the hashtag when they see it so that they can see what your company is about with user generated content, as well as your own. And you'll see your discoverability really be increased on Instagram if you're doing a mixture again of the popular, of the semi-popular, and then of your own branded content. DMs, I'd be remiss to say, you know, again, engagement on social media. If you're scheduling your content out, will hopefully give you a little bit more time to DM people out there, you know, connect with influencers, connect with people who you think could get value out of your product or service on a really personal level. Um, and that's gonna, you know, a lot of people will say these days that if I get tweeted, um, a direct message on Twitter or on Instagram, I am much more likely to respond to it than if I get an email because that email could be something in mass, whereas these DMs are a little bit more personal even seeming these days. So test out in 2019 using DMs as well. I also want to mention that you guys don't have to reinvent the wheel and spend a ton of money on market research because a lot of big companies have actually done this for you. Um, you know, a lot of the time you want to make sure you're speaking right to your audience. So be careful with doing this because, of course, you want to solve your followers' pain points. You want to make sure you're promoting everything that's going to help them really shine with your product or service. So understanding your own personal community, first and foremost, is going to be the most important. However, go out in your industry and see what some of the bigger companies are doing. So you can sit down and take their concepts. You can sit down and really learn from them what they've done. And it's also a way you can see what is going to fill the void. You know, what's not being talked about about your product or industry at this time. And that's going to make your content stand out as that unique content that people want to visit because they're not just seeing the same thing from everyone in the industry. So sit down and take some time, maybe over the holiday break, to read content that's going on in your industry and see what you can add to that conversation. Um, you know, another thing is you can do things like 
um, use something like BuzzSumo that will actually allow you to see which links are shared most on social media within your industry. It's a cool tool that you can then say, you know, hey, these are getting a lot of shares. Maybe I should produce some content around this. Again, making sure your strategy is speaking to your customers' pain points, is speaking into what's trending in the industry right now, and taking the time to do that so you can schedule it out in your Meet Edgar app. If you do have a physical product or a store these days, guys, I cannot stress enough how you need to find a way to make it an Instagrammable experience. Do you know how much free marketing is out there these days? If people are taking a photo and sharing it on Instagram and tagging you in the location, you know, they don't even have to say anything. They're tagging your location. Their friends, their followers are then seeing your location. And that is some sort of social proof that is so much stronger even than a testimonial you post by your user. It is them saying to their friends, I want to be recognized with this company. I want my status to be up leveled because I am at this restaurant or because I bought this book, stuff like that. So think about ways that you can package your product. You know, look down here at this really cool um, box from Glossier. They were really able to make sure that their box and their product was shining through. People wanted to take a photo of that cute box of the cute quote they put in there and post it and tag them. Free marketing. You have a restaurant, go ahead and get some sort of cool sign, something that's going to really help people um, want to share it again. If you have a service or something like that, think about ways that you can pop up in um, people's day to day experience, like sending out a personalized video to their inbox. There's a lot of cool tools like Bonjouro that'll help do this. And people want to share these experiences because it's that sort of good to great factor. You don't talk about stuff on social media unless it's great. So think about the ways you can not only uh, market your product, but you can market that experience because that experience is gonna get you that social proof of what people want to share. And if you're kind of struggling with this concept, my favorite example here is like an airline. Think about if you're purchasing an airline ticket. The airline does not want to advertise you going in, spending money, selecting your dates, selecting your city online. Boring. They want to advertise you getting off that plane in Hawaii, you putting that way on, you having an amazing experience. So that's kind of the difference between marketing a product and marketing an experience. And Instagram is ripe for marketing experiences. So think not only how you can do this, but how you can create instances where your community can do this. So those are just some kind of general strategies. And now I want to jump into kind of some example posts on what you can post on Instagram. First and foremost, you want to teach people how to use your product. It's purpose driven marketing in this way that if they are successful with your product, they are going to stay around so much longer. So whether it's a service, whether it's a physical product, teach people how to actually use it. Similar to how we're doing on this webinar, we guy want you guys to be really successful with Instagram. We want you to be able to use it on Meet Edgar. So we create a lot of content around that to make sure these how to's are offering you value. So share your hot tips and fun facts around making sure that people are getting the most out of your product. Um, really make sure that you're being consistent here too because people wanna make sure that they are getting the most out of following you. Um, so something you could think of doing is doing like a hashtag tip Tuesday post. So every Tuesday people know, oh, I wanna check my Instagram because I might get a cool tip about X, Y, Z. Um, so think about ways you can kind of teach people stuff so you can get that great 80-20 rule we always talk about, and that's that 80% of your content needs to add value. No one wants to follow a page that is promotion, promotion, promotion. They want to follow a page that is joining the discussion on Instagram that is giving them so much value. Um, so think about ways you can not only teach something about your product, but teach a lesson. Maybe you have a great success or failure that happened in your day today. Your morning routine went really fabulously because you changed one thing up. Teach your community to be about that. People love efficiency. People love learning from other people. Maybe it took you five years to learn something that could have taken you so much less time. Go ahead and write that out there. You know, I remember our founder, Laura, actually posted something about the way she does laundry. And it was the system that is really kind of given her so much more free time to work on her business, to spend time with her family. So she's not just um, spending time on house chores. That is teaching something. And even though it doesn't have to do with social media, it is appreciated by your community because we are also talking to entrepreneurs who struggle with the same things that she does, which is juggling a whole entire family, two kids, juggling running a business and keeping a household going. So even though it might not be something that she's teaching directly that has to do with social media, it's still something that our community can learn from and relate to. So make sure you're thinking about this in a really broad sense. 
product updates is the next one. You want to make sure that you are keeping new features up in to date in people's minds, not only to nurture those who are already a user and to respect them to make sure that they are getting the most, but to also nurture your kind of cooler leads who might just be following you because they don't need you quite yet, but maybe they do along the way. So having these feature updates in your feeds is a great way that people who aren't opening your emails because they're not ready to buy yet and they know that emails are a little bit more salesy maybe, that relationship they have with you on social media, you never know when that new feature is gonna hit them and say, oh gosh, this is the time to buy, this is the feature I've been waiting for. So always announce your new features, not only in your email sense, but cross promote them on all your social networks to get those people who are just following you in case they need you and aren't quite ready to buy yet. Thought leadership. Guys, you are the most unique part of your business. That is the thing that's going to differentiate you the most. And this behind the scenes content we talk about is something that you are really respecting your followers because you're giving them something they can get nowhere else. And that is the gift of your brain. That is the gift of what you want to create with these communities. You know, it's so much less about follower count on social media these days and so much more about community engagement and so much more about people connecting on a human level, keeping that social in social media. Media. Um, so share your thought leadership, say what's on your mind, make sure that people are getting to know everything. Instagram's a cool way of doing this because if you don't have a lot of photos, go ahead and get a program like Canva where you can go in and create some awesome backgrounds. You can create some stuff where you can overlay text on it. So you can share that out to your community that way. Numbers, numbers, numbers. People want numbers more than ever when it comes to deciding on stuff they'd like to buy, stuff they'd like to engage with, because that is something that can't lie. You know, people are used to being sold to online these days. They are used to things not being authentic a lot of the time. So numbers are a great way to show your community the proof in your pudding, basically. And Instagram's a cool way of doing this too. Again, using a program like Canva, or there are a lot of actually infographic tools out there that you can use to create cool graphics like um, Refinery29 did here. Um, what a great way to actually show statistics that are pretty boring if you are just reading them. So think about if you do have content that's really boring, but you still want to make sure your followers are seeing it. Think about a way to package it in a program like an infographic tool or like Canva so that people actually want to look at it. So think about the numbers, the boring stuff, and how you can create that as exciting content on Instagram. Now, humor, relatability, and tagging. Guys, never underestimate the power of a smile. If you see something online that makes you smile, think about if your followers would like that too. We are such emotional creatures. You know this idea that it takes seven touch points in order for you to become loyal to a brand is going to be really up-leveled if you're connecting in a humorous way. It is also some of the most shared content on social media. We're escaping from our day when we go on Instagram a lot of the time. We are waiting in line at the grocery store. We might be a little bit annoyed. What if this post hit you at that exact time you were annoyed? Now meet Edgar as a brand who has gotten you out of that annoyed time frame and got you into this humorous one. And that's going to create a cool connection that maybe it's the same as if you were sitting down at a party. You know, a lot of the time you want to think about your social media posts as if you're going to a dinner party. No one wants to sit next to that person who's just broadcasting how awesome they are all the time or broadcasting out um, promotion after promotion. They want to sit with that person who's asking questions, who's relating with you, who's making you laugh. That tagging part, who's actually creating a bond with you that is going to go further than just that dinner party. So think about social situations that work really well offline and bring those online. Do the same things. Think about the best conversation that you've ever had with one of your actual um, users or one of someone who bought your product. And think about ways that you've connected with people at parties and use these concepts on social media in 2019, because that is the direction it, it has to go for you to stay relevant. Behind the scenes content, you know, your followers want to feel like they're getting stuff that others aren't. Really great tip for behind the scenes content is using video. So video is so important online these days because the algorithms are loving it. They're being really generous to video content. And that's because the statistics are showing people want to learn from video. People want to engage with video way more than just read these days. So with your video content, I always want you to make sure that you are thinking about ways you can make it really authentic. Because if you have a polished video, a perfectly polished advertisement video, people are going to see through that a lot of the time. Of course, you want those polished videos for like your Facebook ads, your Instagram ads. But on your actual feed and on your actual stories, if you're afraid to do video because you don't think it's going to look professional enough, I want you to get that thought out of your mind right now. 
if you shoot video on your phone, it's actually shown that this less curated, less polished video converts better than the other ones because it comes across as authentic. It comes across as not salesy and people want to get to know you. They don't want to get to know this advertising company that you, you hired. So don't be afraid just to do something as simple as shoot it on your phone. Remember, you can go ahead and upload it in your Meet Edgar library. You can go ahead and add it as a story. Stories are my favorite place to practice video. I'm trying to do a lot more with showing my face on our Facebook lives, on our Instagram. And these story features make it easy because it's 15 seconds. I don't have to memorize anything more than 15 seconds and it disappears in 24 hours. So if I don't love it, it's not on my feed forever. So practice in your stories, practice being okay with it, just being shot on your phone and practice being really authentic by talking to your community. And if it's going to be something that they connect with, you'll start to see those numbers of more people tuning in every week to your stories. And that's where that consistency piece comes in with your video as well. Make sure people are have a reason every week to go back to your stories, to watch it because they want to see your tip for the day. They want to talk to you on that story in that same way. Um, you know, stories are really great for doing polls too. So ask your community, you can create a poll, you know, hey, what do you want the next Tip Tuesday to be about? We do this a lot at Edgar where we'll post in our stories, what do you want our founder chat from Laura to be about on our Facebook Live today? This is one of two things. It lets us create content that we know our community wants to doing. Also cross promotes on Instagram. People People are saying, oh, they do Facebook Lives. Let me go seek out the Meet Edgar Facebook page so I can get that great value too. So it's a great way to cross promote between networks as well as providing content that is speaking directly to your followers' story. Reviews, so more social proof. Guys, again, people are gonna want that know, like, and trust factor with a company before they purchase from it. So think about ways that you can get some of your power users, some people who love your product so much, to actually give you a testimonial. Do things like make them really eye-catching for Instagram. Make sure that you're adding those hashtags so that it's discoverable. And again, people are going to want that social proof of saying, okay, this person felt the same way I did. They were overwhelmed with social media. They purchased Edgar and it's freed up their time to actually create more content, to actually relax a little bit more on their weekends and create that story. And creating the story is so much easier if you actually know who your product is for. So if you're struggling to get really powerful testimonials, sit down with your team and really look at your audience persona. You know, name that person, name what age they are, name what pain points they have, whether it has to do with your product or even if it's like, hey, they have a pain point because they're probably a busy mom who's trying to get a business off the ground or they are a busy person who is working a day job and doing their side hustle. What pain points do this, that person have? And seek out testimonials of people who can actually help to show that your tool or your product is going to help get them over that hump. So it's a great way to get that know, like, and trust factor to rock it through the roof if people are seeing it from other people and not just coming from your brand. Contests, everybody loves a good contest, not only because it gets your community engaging with you, but a lot of people like to share contests with their friends. So if you're going through your Instagram feed and you see a contest that, oh my gosh, you know what? My sister really would love this. Um, she's a marketer. Let me share this post with her so she can enter in the contest. You know, we are a helpful species as human beings. So contests are a cool way to, for your followers to get to share your post out to people who would actually be able to benefit from the um, from the contest here. So think about ways that you can go ahead and do this. You know, there's a lot of tools out there that can help you create contests. Or you can do something as simple as say, you know, hey, go ahead and um, go ahead and like us on Instagram. Um, go ahead and use this hashtag and we'll go ahead and pick a winner on this date. It can be as simple as that. So you can use a tool to create a cool campaign around your contest, or you can just do a great hashtag contest similar to that hashtag Edgar challenge we're doing today. Hope you guys have all been taking notes um, and going along here. So think about the ways that you can kind of get together with other companies who might be able to offer like their bundled service. So like this contest that we ran, we did it with Thinkrific, King Sumo, and Hello Bar, who all of really similar audiences as small business owners or solopreneurs who could utilize these tools together. And we're offering these subscriptions for um, these deals with these other companies, not only so that they're cross promoting their contest, so our brand gets in front of their eyes. And then it's kind of that reciprocal, okay, now we're going to put your brand in our post here. So again, 2019 is all going to be about influencer marketing. So seek out those companies, do your research so you can benefit from it. Going a little bit further, this is the part that I was chatting about at the very beginning, the link in bio. 
So because Instagram doesn't actually allow you to put a link in your status update, what you're going to want to do is create things like images that are really going to help to um, provide a little bit of a snapshot on what that blog post is about or what that landing page is about. So it stops people, it gets them reading. And then you can go ahead and offer a little bit of value in that status update. You know, pique people's curiosity, let them know what they're going to get when they actually click over. And then you can say, you know, go to my bio, you know, link in bio to visit it. And this allows this post to live longer than the feed because people are then able to go to your bio and click it. And we'll talk about a tool that can be really helpful with this in a minute as well. Um, but I also wanted to touch on the fact that when you're doing this, make sure you're seeking out your evergreen blog posts and promoting them on Instagram the same way you do on Twitter and Facebook, because it is incredible how much content can be driven from Instagram to your blog. You know, there's over 2 million blog posts that released to WordPress every day. So if you're not promoting yours, it's not going to get the traffic your hard work deserves. So think about the ways you can do this for Instagram. Edgar can recycle your evergreen blog posts similar to the way he does for Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, but other things you can do is create different types of images for that one blog post. It's going to really help diversify your feed. And it's also, you know, you never know what image or what language is going to hit someone at the right time, what they're going to connect with. So test it out. Do some A-B testing there. See which one is getting more likes, which one is getting more click-through rates. So you can know for the future what type of image, what type of language works best for your audience. <clears throat> so evergreen is a really great strategy to still take when you're promoting blog posts through Instagram. So this link in bio section here, if you go to our Instagram account, actually, you can see this in action. Um, we have this little meegger.com right there. And what this does when you click on it, actually, is it's going to take you to what we have established on a site called Linktree. So their URL is L-I-N-K-T-R dot e -E. And this is cool because when you click this link in our bio, it takes you to this picture over on the right of your screen where you can see we have about four or five different links that we've been promoting over the week. It might be to a blog post, to one of our Facebook lives, um, to something about our Octopal affiliate program, all of this fun stuff. And this is the part that helps it live longer than the feed because when people click the link in your bio because they wanna see your latest blog post, they can then see, oh, look at all these other options that I missed. So they can click over on one of these and read the blog post, come back and actually get the value of your other posts that they might not have seen the first time. So I definitely suggest checking that out, especially if you're a content marketer who's trying to drive people to a certain landing page or to your blog post, it is invaluable. So for your email list, we talk a lot about cross-promoting per network, but we also want to um, not negate the fact that email is still one of the strongest relationship building aspects out there these days. So if you're doing something on Instagram, you can also go ahead and utilize this to increase your email list too. So this is a really cool one. The Catskill Animal Sanctuary does this really well. You can see that they're going ahead and taking you to this um, link in their bio that leads you to a page where you're filling out a form, you're giving people your email address. So think about ways you can not only direct people to like a landing page or to a blog post, but where they're actually prompted to sign up for your newsletter. Another great thing about this is to think about what you can do to give away free downloads. Um, think about things that are really going to help your community grow. I love this example here where she's giving away a free ebook that's going to really help provide recipes and resources, awesome value to her community. And what this allows you to do when you put this link in your bio, maybe just test it out for a couple of weeks even, is it'll take you to a landing page where you're then filling out your email. Like I said here, she's getting your email there. You're getting a free ebook from her. And it's a great way for you to think about, hey, what are my most popular blog posts? Can I repurpose those into an ebook so I can try to promote people to go to my new landing page um, to give me my email address to do stuff like that? So look at the content that people love from you and think about ways you can repurpose it and you can utilize it to not only grow your following on Instagram, but take those Instagram followers and add them to your email drip campaigns too. Again, those seven touch points. Um, building those relationships. And if you're offering value in every single place, again, having that overall marketing strategy fit together, you're going to see some magic happen in 2019. The carousel feature is really cool. Again, you can add up to 10 photos in your Meet Edgar library to send to Instagram. So definitely take advantage of this because it is so much easier to demonstrate instructions if you have a product or a recipe or a lifestyle blog. Um, it's so much easier to tell the entire story for people to relate to. 
Um, so definitely it's a great way to um, not only teach how to's, but if you're finding you have so many photos you wanna share about a particular topic, a lot of the time you want to create variety in your feed. So you don't wanna share all of those in a row, but you also wanna share them right away. So use the carousel feature for that. Um, when you are using the carousel feature, keep in mind as well that you do have um, the option to add them in order, but that's not always the order Instagram shows to people. Sometimes they're going to show them like the third picture within your 10 first. Sometimes they'll show them the first. Sometimes they'll show them the seventh. So think about ways that in your actual caption here, you can put in, you know, hey, swipe to the beginning so you can see the full story of my vacation inspired blah, 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 or the full recipe here, blah, blah, blah. Other things you can do with the carousel feature is you can do a cool question and answer trivia. Um, so think about ways that you can compel people to swipe through all the photos. And that's by adding text over the images you're doing there. So again, a program like Photoshop, Canva, even Preview can do this really easily on a Mac. Um, so think about ways you can kind of do a question and answer with the carousel. And it's a cool way to get that engagement rate up for those types of um, posts. Conversation, again, meaningful engagement, not only matters on Facebook, but really matters on Instagram as well. And depending on what you're sharing, you really wanna instruct people on what to do. And questions are a really great way to do this because you're able to then um, really prompt people to know, hey, I wanna go ahead and answer this because I wanna join the conversation. So think of a short question, whether it's something that has to do with your product or not. You know, We work for a company here at Edgar, a lot of the time we'll talk about things like remote work because we're a completely remote team. Like I said, I'm in Denver, Colorado. Christina on our chat is in New York. So we talk a lot about best practices around remote work because we've built a really strong remote team who's awesome at working together. And we wanna provide other teams out there um, this tangential content that doesn't have to do with social media, but can still be really valuable to entrepreneurs who are just starting out with their own remote teams. So invite people to share their thoughts, invite people to share their comments, but you have to ask for it first. So spark that conversation, make it easy. You can do open-ended questions and answers. If you're not seeing really great engagement with that, go ahead and do something that's so easy, like asking you know, um, an A, B, or C question, You know, prompting people, hey, type in the word, um, and type in the word boss if you feel like you were, um, remote working team is going really well. Type in the word, not so great if your remote team isn't going well, stuff like that. And then you can start to talk back to your followers and get that awesome conversation going. Use your captions to contextualize a series of images and videos with a common theme. Again, this is gonna be what we like to talk about with dwell time. So if you're just trying to grab people's attention right away, do something like this really cool Teen Vogue posted. Um, and that's just to make these really kind of eye-catching, bright, 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 stop you in your scroll <laughs> um, comments here. And it's gonna be short and sweet because people in the photo part aren't necessarily gonna wanna read a lot. But if they're scrolling through and they're like, huh, I like these concepts, they'll take the time to dwell on your longer paragraph posts over there. Um, so please, please, please try testing it out. If you're not great at content writing, Instagram's a great place to practice that. You know, It's not a skill we're just born with. It's a skill that we have to develop as content creators. Um, so practice writing these kind of mini blog posts within Instagram, and you'll see the benefits of this helping your own content strategy when you're writing your longer blog posts on your actual blog. So test it out, always know that everything you do on social media, it's never a waste. You're learning something from it and you are refining your skills. Instagram stories, my favorite. So this is gonna be something that, again, so many people are using these days. 60% of Instagram's daily active users are actually on stories every single day. And it's a great way if they're just tapping their friend's story that they wanna see. Remember, stories happen back to back. So your brand might be the next one that they see that they might necessarily not have actually clicked on, but because it just starts to play automatically after they caught up with their friend's day, they'll probably keep watching because they wanna watch all their stories all the way through. So if you haven't done stories yet, guys, you are missing out on a huge subset of engagement. Stories are cool too for engagement statistics because it'll actually show you everyone who actually saw the story. So unlike um, people having to actually like your post on the feed, the story does this automatically. So it's a great way to get a little bit more insight and analytics into how many people are actually engaging with your content beyond just that double click um, heart that your, that your actual feed posts get. So it's a short format again, 15 seconds for videos, the lifespan is 24 hours. 
they're already there where people are looking at the top of their account. They don't have to scroll through for a while to find your information. They're super addictive. I get caught in Instagram stories when I am just on a commercial break on TV. I will definitely tune into my Instagram stories rather than watch those commercials. Um, so again, it's a great way to kind of connect with your community there and make sure that they're community focused and that they're informal. So it feels like um, you are having that authentic connection that people want from their friends, from their family on Instagram. If your brand can be a brand people want to hang out with, you're going to see such great benefits. What you can also do is not only utilize this to get that behind the scenes content and to get your product stuff out there is Instagram stories can also be used to share limited time discount codes. If you're going to teach your followers to want to come to your stories, doing limited time stuff that creates a sense of urgency is an awesome thing to do. So if you don't have the swipe up feature, no worries at all. You can use a special promo code. You can tell people to reach out your, to your support team um, to get the actual discount that you're offering. And you can, again, utilize your whole marketing strategy, know what offers you're having out there, add these to your Edgar account. Um, you know, within Edgar, we do have that weekly repeating schedule, but you can also utilize the scheduled settings option that allows you to put in a specific date and time on your Instagram posts. So if you're a marketing team, if you know they're running a really big promotion one time, go ahead and schedule it into your Instagram account in Meet Edgar. When it pops up for that push notification, you can put it in your stories or on your feed your stories is great because again, this teaches people, okay, cool. This is only available if I go and check their stories um, and they can get that great benefit from you. So work with your whole team. If your whole team's with yourself, work with yourself on making sure that you're adding in the send out a specific day and time features and use once features. You can utilize those for Instagram stories, um, for limited time stuff, for holiday content. You can do all that still within your Edgar account, keeping everything nice and organized. If you're attending events, it's really cool to be able to not have to post stuff on your stories right then and there. It's really cool to be able to let people know where to find you at the event, stuff like that. And scheduling this out in Edgar ahead of time can make the event much more enjoyable for you. Um, so, you know, person to person connection, networking is so important. Um, so you can build up your know, like and trust factor by connecting with people, showing them how much you care about going to these conferences or going to these product meetups and stuff. And you can schedule that out again ahead of time in your Edgar account. If you are going to places, tell your followers where you can find them. Um, it's a really great way, again, to use Instagram to take it into the real life. So consider doing things like creating a meetup in your city for people to come and test out your product or for people to come and learn from, um, from you. And you can go ahead and advertise these in your Instagram, either on your feed. Stories are my favorite place to do this because it's going to disappear after 24 hours. And again, it'll be really great kind of teaser content for people to want to keep checking back in your story to know where to find you if they want to meet you in person. Great for lifestyle bloggers, great for people who um, put their self out there with their product, get their personality out there. Instagram stories are also a really great place for you to go ahead and share stuff that'll provide value. You know, if you see a really great sale going on and you want to tell your followers about it, go ahead and put that in your stories because it'll be gone in 24 hours. And again, it's going to teach yours to want to come back to your stories to make sure they're getting all of that awesome value. Cross-promoting on Instagram stories is really cool too because you're able to, again, say, hey, we are doing a chat over on Facebook Live. You're able to hop on a quick video um, and introduce that chat, give a little teaser, give some value within it so you're providing people a reason to go over to Facebook. Um, you can tag your own personal account so people can then go learn about who you are on Instagram. You know, people can tap that and learn about who you are. And that personality factor is going to create a strong bond between you and your followers. You can also consider doing things with a takeover on Instagram and Edgar can be really helpful for this because what an Instagram takeover is, is where you're giving a special guest control of your account for a short period of time. This is great for what's called that purple cow content, that stuff that's going to be introduced by um, Seth Godin. And this concept is that if you're scrolling, 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 if you're always seeing the same thing from a product, if something is really different one day, that is going to get you to stop and look. Because if you see brown cow, brown cow, brown cow, when you see that purple cow, you are going to stop and look. So takeovers are a great way for people to stop and look at your brand because they're like, huh, that's different. That's interesting. So we'll seek out influencers and people within the community who are really great at getting that purple cow content, who have really great followings and produce cool content. And you can find someone to take over your Instagram story or to post some feed um, posts for the day. 
And the reason this works so well with Meet Edgar is because you don't necessarily want to share your password to your Instagram account. So I suggest doing something like utilizing a Trello board or a shared Google Doc for them to put all their content in there. You can then go through and approve it, edit what you need to, and add it to your Meet Edgar account so that you're the one who's actually posting it. So Edgar can make Instagram takeovers a lot less stressful because you'll know it'll go out when you need it to go out and you're not relying just on the third party in order to do this. So think about ways that you can connect with people in your community who will provide that great content so that you can then create some awesome Instagram takeovers. If you're new to takeovers, here's some questions that you can go ahead and put out there. You know, you want to be able to get people to in be interested. So you can create a landing page. You can even create a post on your own Instagram account announcing that you're looking for people to take over. Most people do this through email. Um, you know, ask for their name, age, their handle, make sure that it matches up with your community and your persona, all that fun stuff. Make sure you're creating a relationship in a trusting way with the person who's taking over your account because your brand is going to benefit so much if their followers' eyes are then getting on your content. Guys, thank you so much for joining today. It is some of my favorite stuff to be able to chat with you guys um, all the time and really connect with our audience because we do love marketing, obviously, here at Meet Edgar. We're a small business ourselves, and it is some of the funnest things to see you guys succeed, whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Um, remember, getting started with Edgar, if you have any questions or want to demo, go ahead and email support at meetedgar.com. Please join in the Edgar Challenge today. When you add your Instagram account to Edgar, go ahead and um, chat us or tweet us or um, comment on the video below. Um, hashtag it Edgar Challenge. And we're going to be sending out a few pieces of swag by the end of the day today when we do see that. If you are not an Edgar user, remember, we are celebrating Instagram. So go to meetedgar.com slash Instagram, and you'll get a free trial. You'll also get 50% off your first three months, which means Edgar is going to be $24.50 for your first three months. And that is going to give you back about eight hours of time in your week. Um, again, this holiday season, there's no better time to start really up-leveling your Instagram strategy for 2019. Um, this offer is good through Friday, 1221. That's kind of a funny number there. 1221. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. So make sure you grab it by then. Um, we do have a 30 day money back guarantee, guys, because we want to make sure this tool is right for you. So if at any point as well, make sure that you know you are in good hands. It is our happiness guarantee because we want to keep you happy this season. Um, thanks again, guys. If you do have any questions, please keep commenting on the video below. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, too. We are going to be doing some cool stuff in 2019, not only with Edgar community, but creating some cool partnerships to offer you guys a lot of value. So be sure to subscribe today. Um, let us know any feedback in the comments below on this video. If you want to see something specific from our webinars in 2019, we'd love to hear it, either emailing or in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day.